Welcome back to Houston Life. Since 2013, Real Abilities Houston Film and Arts Festival has become one of the most meaningful events in town for embracing inclusivity and offering a platform to showcase people and talents with all kinds of abilities. This year's festival chairs, Diana Cotaspoti and Michael McCullough are joining us now with more on the event. Welcome to you both. Thanks for joining us. So we were just chatting during commercial break. This is a festival that's been going on since 2013. And tell us, Diana, how you got involved with a festival. Yeah, so 2018, um, my um, there's a story um, about me doing um, a 24-hour obstacle course race in the Chronicle. And the chair at the time reached out to me and was like, would you be interested in joining Real Abilities? And this was 2018. I was like, yes, sign me up. So here we are so many years later. Incredible. And Michael, uh, there was a documentary about you and your journey up to Machu Picchu in Peru. Right. And tell us about that documentary. This happened several years back. Yeah, summer of 2019, uh, I did a hike to Machu Picchu and a film crew went along with me and documented it, put out a documentary and it was actually premiered at the uh, film festival uh, in 2021. You in uh, in your 20s, you started losing your vision because of glaucoma. Right. That's It's pretty unusual, right, for someone so young to develop glaucoma. Like yeah, it, it was a very slow progression. First I lost one eye after about 10 years and then my second eye went in 2006. So. I've been legally blind since 2006. Legally blind since 2006. And what's your journey been like in terms of your ability to just adapt to these new circumstances? Well, initially it was a big shock. And to be honest, I went through a big time of depression for a number of months and finally came out of that and uh, started seeking some support groups and learning how to adapt to, you know, living a life uh, as a, a blind person and with the, you know, the advances in technology that especially that helped me to go on and become, uh, you know, I had to learn new ways and adapt to do things that I was, but I found that I could get back to work and do everything that I wanted to do. We're seeing some video of you on the screen right now enjoying things that maybe perhaps at one time you didn't know if you could continue enjoying getting to the great outdoors. So this has been, I can imagine, a healing process for you to go so public with your journey. Yeah, and uh, you know, being able to you know, give back to others, reach out to others that are going through the thing, same uh, process of losing their vision, uh, especially those later in life and showing that there is life after uh, vision loss. There absolutely is. Diana, you are described as a passionate advocate for disability inclusion in the workplace and athletics. In fact, this is your, your career, yes. right? You were born with dwarfism, yes. but essentially you help companies develop programs to ensure that all employees feel included and valued. Yeah, so I work for an amazing organization and we work with um, corporations all around the globe um, to become more um, inclusive of people with disabilities, whether you know it's temporary or permanent, um, whether you were born with it or whether later you know acquired it in life. Um, and we really help them even employ or work with employees that they currently have that have people with disabilities and then look at the future generations coming into the place and really kind of own that disability power, right? Um, because, you know, there's, I think as we can all say, there's tough times, but really own it. So we work with these amazing organizations to really make sure everybody's feeling included and are included. That's fantastic. And owning it, I think, is so important because uh, I have an uncle with special needs. Um, Brandon's uncle has special needs. And it seems like for a long time, people felt like they had to stay back in the shadows or, or yep. be marginalized. But the Real Abilities Festival, this really is about putting it out there and helping the people out there watching the show perhaps right now who have felt alone or they know what it's like to have a family member or a friend who feels alone. Yeah, I mean, we, we over, you know, especially after the pandemic, right, we've been through a lot over the last couple of years. Um, and, you know, with disabilities, people around the globe, there's over 1.3 billion people with disabilities. 75% um, of those are not apparent or invisible. Um, so we know a lot of people, you know, including Michael and I here, um, but you personally, like you just mentioned, know people with disabilities. Um, so we, for so long, we kind of, you know, hit it in the back room. Um, and now we're talking about it because at some point as we age too, you may have a disability in your life, whether again, temporary or permanent. So we really want to talk about it. 
you know, really um, become in a more inclusive environment, whether that's at home or in, in the workplace. And Real Abilities has that opportunity to do that. Everyone has value and deserves a place at the table. Yeah. Michael, your thoughts? Yeah, well, that's the great thing about Real Abilities. Uh, you know, it's produced annually now and uh, by the Jewish Family Service, uh, Alexander Institute for Inclusion. And, uh, uh, you know, provides inclusion and uh, brings uh, brings the stories uh, the, about the lives and talents of uh, people with disabilities. And so, you know, through that, you know, it, go, it makes an impact to the community far beyond the festival itself. And, uh, you know, I've, I've run into people where they say, you know, maybe from several years ago where they've uh, uh, saw a particular thing. Uh, well, one story comes to my mind where uh, a friend has a, a child that's also blind and uh, there was a blind uh, sportscaster that had visited her school and kind of told his story and you know that really made an impact to her to be able to remember that and so her mother shared that story with me you know this is years later and so we see how that impact keeps on going. I'm sure sharing your story um, can help inspire others. By the way, we're out of time, but your documentary, Michael, One Step at a Time, it essentially chronicles your journey. You're, uh, here, we're seeing video of it on the screen, a photo right there. You went 26 miles on a four-day trek. You scaled nearly two, or two nearly 14,000 foot mountain passes. That is a feat to be celebrated, and uh, congrats to you both for your accomplishments in life, and thanks for your involvement with Real Abilities. Thank you. Great having you on Houston Life. We do want to point out to our viewers, uh, here's the information on your screen. The Real Abilities Houston Film and Arts Festival is happening from February 5th through the 23rd. All kinds of venues, art, film, music events, every single event is free. So check it out. You can always visit our website for more information.